Hello friends, in this video we will learn about boolean options. There are three boolean operations namely fuse, cut and common. Let's start the activity. Select the part design from the drop down list. To create the new document click on this button. Insert a new part by clicking on this button. Here, you can see that a new part is created and it is highlighted so it is active. Insert a body into this active part, this body will act as a child. Rename this body to body1. Here, you can see that body1 is active in the active part. Now we will create a sketch in active body 1 by clicking this button. Select XY plane. And click OK. Turn on grid with dimension 10 mm. We will keep auto constraints on. Select a rectangle tool and draw the rectangle on XY plane. Define dimensions of width and height by clicking on this button. We will make the rectangle of 50 mm by 50 mm. Two degrees of freedom are remaining. We will constrain these degrees of freedom with respect to the 0, zero coordinates as it will act as a centroid of the rectangle. By vertical and horizontal constraints. This sketch is now fully constrained. Close this sketch. Click on pad tool to provide the material. Enter 50 mm and click OK. Three dimensional body with the name of body 1 is created. In second step, we will introduce one more body. Click on a body tool, new body will active. Rename this body to body 2. We will make a new sketch in the active body too. Select XY plane. Turn on grid with dimension 10 mm. Draw a rectangle with dimensions of 50 mm by 50 mm from the origin in fourth quadrant and follow the process to constrain it. This sketch is now fully constrained. Click on pad tool to provide the material. Turn on symmetric to plane. Enter 50 mm and click OK. Here, both bodies are children of this part. Double click on body 1 to activate it. Select both bodies. Click on boolean tool. Select fuse operation and click OK. Here you can see that body 2 is merged with body 1. In other words, body 1 will act as a target and body 2 will act as a tool. Therefore, body 2 which is a tool will unite with the target body. Click Ctrl plus C. Now we will make body 2 as an active body. Select both bodies and click on boolean tool. Here you see that body 1 will act as a tool which will merge with body 2. Here you can see that body 1 is merged with body 2. In other words, body 2 will act as a target and body 1 will act as a tool. Therefore, 
body one which is a tool will unite with the target body. Undo the process by control plus Z. For better understanding, let's define body color for both bodies. Double click on body and click on right mouse button, go to appearance and follow the steps. We will define red color for body 1 and blue color for body 2. Close display properties window. Here you can see that red color is assigned to body 1 and blue color is assigned to body 2. Make body 2 as an active body by double clicking on it. Select both bodies and click on boolean operation button. Here you can see that body 1 is united with body 2 and its color changed to blue which is of body 2. Let's reverse the process and see. Press Ctrl plus Z and follow the steps. Here you can see that body 2 is united with body 1 and its color changed to red which is of body 1. Let's go ahead for cut option. Press Ctrl plus Z. Here body 1 is active which is target and body 2 is tool. Select both bodies and click on boolean operation. Select cut option from the drop down list. Click OK. Here you can see that intersecting volume of both bodies will be subtracted from body 1 which is the target body. Now let's reverse the process and see. Press Ctrl plus Z and follow the steps. Here you can see that intersecting volume of both bodies will be subtracted from body 2 which is the target body. Now let's go ahead for common option. We have made body 1 as a tool body. Select both bodies and click on boolean operation. Select common option from the drop down list. Here you can see that intersecting volume of body 2 is left as it acts as a target body. Now let's reverse the process and see. Here you can see that intersecting volume of body 1 is left as it acts as a target body. Hope you enjoyed this lesson. Your comments are very important to us. Please do not forget to give your comments.